This video is for webcasters using the Live 365 Locker system. If that's not you, you can proceed on to some of the other videos. There are two versions of Music One that work with the Live 365 Locker webcasting system. There's a custom edition of version 6, our professional level scheduler, and Music One SE, the low cost special edition for webcasters. When you download and install either one, it comes with an empty library database. You'll see it when you start Music One for the first time. Select and open the library file. Click the System button and click the Automation tab. In the Format field, select Live 365. In the Playlist Folder field, type in Playlists. The Import field can be left empty and the Date Format field should be DDD. Now close this window and save changes. Click the Categories button. Here you'll see the four system categories. Open the Import menu and select Import from Live 365. Enter your Live 365 login and your password. Put your name or the name of your station in the Organization field. Then click the OK button. Depending on the number of songs you have in your locker, it could take from 15 to 45 seconds before the download begins. Most firewalls don't prevent the download, but some will. If your download does not begin within a minute or two at the most, you'll need to close this window and go to your firewall settings and make the adjustments needed to allow Music One to download. Or just turn off the firewall for the brief time that it takes Music One to import the data. When the download is finished, click the Cancel button. Your songs will have been imported into the New Songs category, and your non-music items will be in the New Tracks category. We've built in a function that will do some parsing as you do the import. Any unit that's less than 60 seconds in length, or any unit that does not have an artist name in the Live 365 tag, or that has ID slash PSA as the artist name on your MP3 tag, will be imported into Music One as non-music. There's a chance that some items may be imported the wrong way. You might get some non-music items that come in onto music cards or some music items that were imported as non-music. You can convert these items from one card type to another. There's another video about how that's done. What you'll next need to do is create some rotation categories and move your songs into various groups. Proceed on to the videos about categories.